keep moving. Anyway, do you want to fuck off? Had a great time at the Marxism Socialism Conference. Okay, you good now. She can send an email really? if you want to be considerate. Just, it's only about 10 more kilometers, guys. Keep up, come on. This is really... Hurry up, come on. Not gonna burn those burgers off like this. I'm Lewis Spears. I'm here at the Marxism 2019 conference in Melbourne because of course it's in Melbourne. And uh, we're just going to have a look around, see all of the events. There's a big program on today. So we're gonna talk to some people and just find out all about Marxism, socialism, and what these people have to say. Uh, I also hear that there's a, a counter protest by the Proud Boys. So we might fuck with them as well. It's great when you're not on anyone's side. Let's go and talk to the people. We're outside the Marxism 2019 conference. Uh, there's a couple of demonstrations outside already. We've got the, the Proud Boys here. Uh, doing a, a counter rally, preaching for the for the pros of capitalism. And then over here, we've got uh, all of the Marxists. And uh, to be honest, I'm feeling a little bit torn because my haircut matches these guys, but my malnourished body matches these guys. So I don't really know which team to choose here. If you look through the history books, as we all know, every socialist revolution starts with selling tickets to a conference. So it's off to the box office. And the price of tickets to the Marxist conference depends on your personal income. If you had a job, tickets were $130. If you had a high paying job, they were $160. But if you had no job, they were still $90. Now, socialism, as we all know, is not well known for its corruption. So this system would be impossible to cheat. So I decided to put it to the test. So unwaged. Unwaged. $40? There you go. Cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. Fuck, that was easy. After exploiting the system for my own benefit, I felt like I was starting to understand socialism. But it was time to talk to other people at the Marxist conference. Ed, and you're here at the uh, the socialist conference. Yep. Why Marxism did you come here? 2019. I don't know. I honestly think I just wanted to hear a couple different speakers, a mm -hmm. couple different perspectives. So you consider yourself a bit of a Leninist? Yeah, probably a Leninist. Mate, I'm sure you know who Vladimir Lenin is. Yes, I do. Yeah. Great so, mustache. Yeah. Yep. Not so much the best human rights record, but a great yep, mustache. Yep, yep. Now, at this point, I've only been at the Marxist conference for five minutes. But as soon as we pulled a camera out, the conference organizers surrounded me and my camera guy to make sure that I don't say anything negative about socialism. And I think it was this harmless joke that made everything go wrong. So what, what don't they want to talk about? Uh, so things surrounding the USSR, they won't have any legitimate conversation about it. Like I'm not going to say... Well, neither would the USSR either yeah, themselves. True, so true. at least they're consistent. <laughs> because of that fairly tame joke, I was told by official organisers that I had been banned from the conference for harassing people. And the two guys I interviewed, with their permission, were told that I was a far-right content creator. If joking about the USSR is far-right, I suppose tearing down the Berlin Wall was the biggest alt-right uprising of all time. Uh, I've, been, I've been kicked out, told I'm not allowed to come in, which is, uh, which is a shame. Got told I was harassing people because I got an interview with two boys who were very happy to have an interview. So, uh, you know, come down. Lots of friendly, accepting people here, open to many points of view. It is $55 though. Do, do you guys know if the ticket price gets distributed at the end? I guess they just keep it. I would say the best thing about getting kicked out of an event is you can walk down the street and you get an entourage, right? They won't let you go on the curb, but you can walk down the street, so I might just walk up and back for a little bit. This might be the, the best exercise these guys have gotten for a little bit. <laughs> this, is, this is great, guys. This is very funny. It's time for the Great Marxist Marathon. On your marks, get set. It was at this point the Marxists realised I might be taking the piss. However, I had one final trick up my sleeve. Could I go back to the box office and ask for a refund? Where are you going? I just wanted to get a refund for my ticket price, if that's alright. All right. Immediately, I started to become surrounded by gender fluid front fringes. Things were starting to feel more crowded than a communist bread line, but somehow even less hygienic. Are you good now? I just wanted to get a refund. No, is all. No There's no refunds? refunds? There's not real much point to you being here. Okay. Because right. not sure if you've noticed, you're not mm. really making friends. 
Policy is generally no refunds. No refunds, okay. You can send an email though. Do you guys all talk with sarcasm? Or is it just you? My plan to get a refund had failed. However, it seemed like these socialists were in desperate need of some good old fashioned exercise. After all, they have a revolution to pull off soon. So, to get these ladies moving, I decided to tell a lie. I did park, I did like park you. down there. So, can I get to my car? Um, I reckon you should head back that way. Back this way? I can't yeah. get to my own car. I just think heading back that way is probably for the best. I think I might just go this way though. Well, you can cross the road as well as your car over there. My plan was working. These ladies were finally getting some exercise in. Now, just how far could I get them to walk? I've parked on this side of the road though. Have you? So, yeah. It was working. After a quick warm up, it was time to run some drills. Is this really how you're spending your weekend? Yeah. Is this how you're spending yours? <laughs> you guys are being meaner to me than you are to the Proud Boys. Is this because I've got the same haircut as them? Do we have to walk slow? Look how long my legs are, man. We had now been walking for 500 meters. The communists were beginning to get suspicious. So where's where's your car? My car? Yep. Uh, it's the red one. Just there. Another hundred meters to go. Keep up, comrades. There's a lot of marching to do when you've got a revolution to run. Finally, after 10 minutes of walking, we'd made it to the car. And next to the car were some of my harassment victims. I actually got the train here. But hey, when when we got that interview, was that harassment? What? No, 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 that was good. That was all These are the only boys I've spoken to. Harassment. Sorry guys for harassing you. Can I just wanna Yeah, we can get a photo, man. All right. As you can see, these two victims of my harassment have developed some form of Stockholm Syndrome. And it seems my workout has turned these ladies into fans. One, two, three. Sorry for harassing these boys. Do you accept? Sure. Yeah. All right, cool. Thank you. All right. <laughs> have a good day, boys. Enjoy it. How were you guys harassed? I feel, I feel a little bit harassed, to be honest. You weren't harassed at all, like genuinely. Yeah. That's, that's cool. cool. This isn't about you. That's right. This is about fitness. You should just leave. I'm trying to leave. I told you. I'm trying to get, no, I'm trying to, get to my car. No, off you go. See, no, I didn't. I took the train in. But really, private property is more of a concept, isn't it? I feel like this is like a real entourage shit. Clearly, to these ladies, it doesn't matter that there's no car at the end of this walk. What really matters is the journey itself. I swear, man, I should have brought my fucking marathon gear. I'm gonna do laps. At this point, we'd been walking for 15 minutes, and some of my clients were getting a little bit annoyed. I decided this would be the perfect time for a motivational Instagram story. Had a great time at the Marxism Socialism Conference. Um, here are a few of my friends. They're just escorting me away, making sure I get to my car safely. Uh, apparently I was harassing people for asking for interviews and opinions on socialism, but um, I think really what happened is they saw my haircut and they must have gone, oh fuck, it's Hitler 2.0. So, um, just, it's only about 10 more kilometers, guys. Keep up, come on. Fuck, all these short-legged cunts can't keep up with me. Hurry up, come on. Not gonna burn those burgers off like this. Finally, after 40 minutes of walking, they'd had enough. Bye. Bye. Just kidding. Time for another lap, ladies. Well, that was eventful, wasn't it? Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you share it around if you want more of these as well. We love doing the field pieces. They are a big fuck around to make though, so please do share it with your friends if you liked it. Subscribe, uh, we'll be doing more very, very soon. And uh, big thanks to the Marxism 2019 conference organizers. I cannot wait to bring fitness to the 2020 conference. Uh, and uh, please do let me know about my money as well. I would like my refund. You guys don't need it. I mean, you're all communists. What do you want money for? You don't need it. So send it my way. You have all my details. Um, or just, you know, show up at 3 a.m. and kill me. You guys are pretty keen on doing that stuff too. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I'm Lewis Spears. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.